Hey guys. So um, we are going to go on to the next chapter, which is called the Cotton Kingdom. So cotton is a plant um, that's grown mostly in the south of our country. Um, it's what our clothes are made out of. A lot of us have our clothes made out of cotton. So like I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now. It's made out of cotton. Your jeans are made out of cotton. Your t-shirts are made out of cotton. It's a very important crop for clothing and for fabric. Um, so that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit, okay? Uh, the cotton kingdom. Cotton became an important crop in the 1790s. New spinning machines that made cotton into thread had been invented in England. British factories needed cotton faster than it could be grown. When Americans realized cotton would grow in the southern states, they began to plant it. Southern farmers hoped to make lots of money. But they had a problem. The type of cotton grown in the southern states took a long time to clean. It took one person a whole day to remove seeds from about one pound of cotton. So think about that. All day long they worked cleaning it and they could get through one pound of cotton for one worker. The cotton could not go to factories until the seeds had been taken out. Farmers wanted to invent a machine to make it easier to remove the seeds. Eli Whitney had graduated from college at Yale University. While visiting a friend in Georgia, he heard about the problem with the cotton seeds. Whitney had never seen a cotton plant before, so he studied the plant and thought about how to solve the problem. In a few days, Whitney invented a machine. It was named the cotton engine or cotton gin. Uncleaned cotton was fed into the top of a wooden box. Metal teeth then pulled the cotton through and left the seeds behind. One person was now able to clean about 50 pounds of cotton a day. So think about that. Before they could do one pound of cotton a day, now they could do 50 pounds of cotton in a day. That's a huge difference, right? And so the box, it was like a bo wooden box. And the best way I can kind of describe it is like, think about a brush, okay? So if a brush was like brushing out the seeds out of the cotton, it's kind of like what it, what it was sort of, okay? Changed everything, guys. More farmers began to plant cotton in the Southern states. Owners of large farms called plantations had slaves to take care of the cotton. After the cotton was picked, it went through the cotton gin and was packed into bales. The farmers sold the bales to factories in the northern states and England. So who was it that took care of the land? It was the slaves. What does it mean to be a slave? Does anyone know? So a slave is a person that is forced to work. They are not paid. And it is at that time that this occurred, slavery was legal in the United States. You could own another human. Um, and that is not legal now, right? We cannot own people. So that's what, that's who took care of the, the farms were the slaves. They were the ones who worked. Because of its value, farmers said cotton is king. The South became known as the cotton kingdom. Many Southern states switched their main cash crop to cotton and earned huge profits. A cash crop is a crop that is grown for money. Cotton became the most important crop in the United States. So when they say a cash crop, it doesn't mean they were planting money in the ground and growing dollar bills. It means it was the item that they planted in the ground that they made the most money from, right? So depending on what they planted in the ground, what they could get the most money for when they sold it, was their cash crop, okay? So in this case, cotton, planting cotton in the ground and growing from the cotton plant, the amount of money they got when they sold the cotton 
was higher than say when they planted um, carrots, okay? So cotton was their cash crop. Though cotton made the Southern farmers rich, it also caused a problem. As more cotton was planted, more people were needed to care for it. The plantation owners needed slaves more than ever before. However, slavery was becoming very unpopular in the North. Most Northerners did not agree, did not own slaves, and many thought slavery was wrong. The disagreement over slavery would be the main reason for the Civil War. So coming up, what we're gonna learn about is the Civil War. And what they're telling us is that the main reason we're gonna find out that we fought the Civil War was because people didn't agree about slavery. People in the north of the country felt that slavery was wrong, that you should not be allowed to own another human. And in the south, for the most part, they believed that slavery was okay, and they believed that it was necessary because they couldn't make their money unless they had people to work for free, right? So we're gonna learn more about that in a later chapter. Um, but right now, I want you to know about what an important part cotton played in the Southerners making money. I want you to know about the cotton gin, right? This is the box, how they put the cotton in the top and it took out the seeds so they could get through, instead of a person getting through one pound of cotton in a day, they could clean 50 pounds of cotton in a day. And I want you to know that they relied on slaves to take care of the plants. It was not paid workers. It was people that they owned that took care of this. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions, guys. See you later.